other than in chemistry. So to begin with, we are going to do a level five topics. Okay, so level five topics you expect there's a lot of bubbles that will be produced. It may be some of you already watch this on YouTube or other videos. And now we are going to do it here. Brilliant International School. Fantastic. So what we need for this experiment first is hydrogen peroxide. The one that we are going to use here is 35% hydrogen peroxide. It's a bit toxic. That's why we are going to use safety goggles and gloves while conducting this experiment. Then we need dishwashing liquid and potassium iodide. Okay, in this experiment, you are going to observe the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Decomposition means breaking down of complex compounds into smaller or simpler compounds. So in this case, it is hydrogen peroxide and it will make water and oxygen as the products. Okay, and we are going to track the oxygen since it is a gas and this dishwashing liquid you know when you use this you can see bubbles so this dishwashing liquid will trap the oxygen that will be produced when we decompose the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen and then next is the potassium iodide potassium iodide will serve as a catalyst because hydrogen peroxide decomposes by itself or naturally but it's a very slow process it's a very slow chemical reaction and potassium iodide will make it faster okay so it is a catalyst meaning to say it speeds up the chemical reaction without being used up okay. so sometimes you will see there are different colors produced but actually in those videos they are just using food color okay. so in this case we are not going to use a food color you will observe what is going to happen. So let's start. So first, we need these materials. So we're going to use a glass. Okay, let's put these things on the side. Okay. Then we're going to put the hydrogen peroxide. Be careful because it is corrosive because the concentration is quite high. Put about 25 ml of this. And then we put the dishwashing liquid. So again, this is a decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. It will produce oxygen gas. So this dishwashing liquid will trap the oxygen gas that will be produced. Okay. Then we have mix it, shake it to distribute the dishwashing liquid okay so again be careful when handling these chemicals because some chemicals are corrosive that's why you need to use gloves and of course safety guidance and earlier I prepared a solution of potassium iodide okay so this is a saturated solution of potassium iodide saturated means it dissolves the maximum amount of the solute, which is the potassium iodide, in the given solvent in a certain temperature. That's what you mean by saturated solution. So, this is a uh, fast reaction. So, watch carefully what is going to happen. So, again, we have here hydrogen peroxide and the dishwashing liquid, and now we are going to put the potassium iodide. So what? Okay. So as far as you can see, there are a lot of bubbles produced because inside that you have the oxygen gas trapped on the bubbles. And as far as you can see, there are some steam and that is water. Okay, those are water because another product aside from oxygen is the water. And why is it producing steam? Because this reaction is exothermic. Exothermic means it is producing heat 
okay and it's making the container or it's making it hot because exothermic it makes it hot the temperature will increase so you cannot touch it now you have to wait until it becomes cold okay class okay thank you see you later for the next experiment